Hello students, welcome to my online class. Myself Firoz Sheikh and today we are going to start a new chapter, chapter number 8, Geometry. What do you understand by Geometry? You know, Geometry is the branch of mathematics which deals with the properties of, you know, points, lines, surfaces, you know, surface and solid, any shape and all uh, and higher dimension analogs or we can say that it talks, it deals with the property of shape, size and angles and all. Okay. Now, in your chapter, in this first chapter, we, we will talk about the point. What is point? You know point. What is point? <clears throat> so, you know, point is the location. Location of a location in a surface or any plane or any uh, place. It is a location. It's just a dot, you know. It don't have any length, don't have any breadth don't have any height it can be represented by a capital letter suppose a so we can say that point a okay point a means in this way we can represent it by a okay now talks uh, let's talk about lines what is line see line is a large number of you can a series of you know points or you can say dots you know, in the same direction on, you know and if you join these dots you know it you know it creates a line and if we put arrow in the both head it represents that it moves endlessly in both the direction and suppose if I want to name the line so I will put two dots here suppose a and B here so I can write the line a B and a B can be represented like this okay so what is line you know is a large or series series of dots you know plotted in a surface and if you join those dots in both the direction it moves endlessly you know indefinitely this is known as what line and line a b whatever you want to give the name suppose right now i have written a and b so it's a line a b is that clear now we will discuss about types of lines <coughs> types of lines types of lines okay if we join if we put the dots you know in a in a scene this in a straight there is no turn and all straight line this is known as what straight line a b okay if you draw like this means dots are arranged in a wavy form or any uh, not in a straight line suppose in uh, it takes turns and all and if you join this in this way so it will it is known as what a curve line okay curve a b okay then two lines two lines when you know they crosses each other they meet at a point they intersect at a point suppose oh so in these lines a b and suppose m n okay so these type of lines when they you know uh, cross each other at point o or you want to put any name this type of known this type of line is known as intersecting lines okay now let me show here and when two lines in this way suppose a b c d and two lines you know the distance the vertical distance between two lines at any point at any point are same suppose the distance between line a b and line CD suppose it's two centimeter here in this place let me put the uh, mark here suppose P at point P vertical distance vertical it is two centimeter for example at point Q it is also two centimeter for example at point R here also two centimeter then these two lines are said to be parallel line AB and line CD these two lines are said to be as parallel lines okay now we will talk about line segment what do you understand by a line segment 
let me show you something here first when there is arrow on the both ends so here a b then this is known as what line means it shows that both the ends are you know moving endlessly in in the right hand direction in the left hand direction Sup suppose if i take out a small part or small portion of this line m n then this m n is known as what line segment segment means a piece a piece you know you can say uh, i took out this fraction of line you know a b m n is known as line segment simple a bar will be there and a b is known as line when when the both ends are having arrow mark then it shows that it's a line means there is no end points but whereas in n uh, line segment there is two end points m and n and it can be represented like m n so we can draw the line like this there is no arrow on the both ones simply an end points are there m n then this is known as what line segment is that clear now <coughs> The next point in the book is known as ray. What is ray? R A Y ray. Ray. Once again, let me recall the things. This is known as line. Once again, I want to say that because. At point A, it is moving towards the left hand direction endlessly because I have given an arrow mark here. And at point B also, there is an arrow mark here. So it is moving endlessly in this direction in a straight line. That is known as what? A straight line. And if I took it a part of this one, just a few moments ago I have shown you M N. This is known as what? Line segment. Two end points. The line ends here in the left hand direction it ends here at point p sorry at point m and in the right hand direction it ends at point n so this is known as what line segment but when we talk about ray ray there is one initial point from here it will start it will start and it will keep on moving in one direction suppose point here i will write p and for this i will let's put a small dot here so that I can write Q, P, Q. This is known as what? Ray. And I will write like this. It can be written like this, P, Q. This is the correct way of writing. P is the initial point. So this end is here. Q is, you know, arrow mark is here. So Q is endlessly moving in this direction. If I write like this, suppose Q, P in this way, it will be wrong for this picture because the starting point is P, not Q. And the moving uh, end, this the Q is the moving end endlessly. But here it, I have written P, so it will be a wrong way of writing like this. So we have to write P Q. If I write suppose like this, uh, L M. So I have to write L M in this way. L is the starting point, and M is the moving part. Okay, moving end. You can say I can't write like this. This will be a wrong way of writing array. So array is what? Array is, you know, has one starting point or you can say origin from here. It will start. It will originate from this point and it will move in one direction. Uh, suppose right now here is Q. Q is the point through this way. It will move in one direction endlessly. Okay. So this is known as what? Ray. So in your, uh, this first part of explanation there was point point is a location on the surface or any uh, place point like this if i put a dot here and if i write suppose p so i will represent as a uh, point p in capital letter now what is line line is a series of dots or series of points when connected in the same direction straight line this is known as what uh, you can say line where there is an arrow mark on the both the ends so AB is a line. So type of lines, you know, it is horizontal line. This is, you know, vertical line. This is slanting line, little bit of bend, a slanting line. So these are the names of the straight lines. Okay. 
Now, what is line segment? Segment line segment is a part or piece of a line where two end points are there M and N. The line segment. And what is ray? Ray is you know there is one initial point or can say origin point, starting point, and it moves endlessly in the one direction. So right now here is Q. So Q is the point through this. It will move endlessly. So this is what uh, ray P Q. This is the exact way of writing P Q. Okay. I hope you have understood all this part. What is geometry? Geometry is all about, you know, it is the branch which deals about the shape and size and, you know, angles, the properties of points, lines, surface. These are all about, you know, geometry. And here I just I have explained what is point, what is line, what is line segment, and what is ray. And different type of lines I have already explained to you, okay? So I hope you have understood this one. And one more thing, parallel lines. Parallel lines, you have seen the railway tracks. The railway track, you know, the trailer is like this, no? The track is there. This is the two rails over which the train moves so these two rails are equally equally distanced okay in every point wherever you want to measure it the distance between these two you know track will be same so these two line will be parallel okay so i hope you have understood this part thank you